Hi YouTubers, it's Freestyle Fridays again. And I'm going to show you something really, really simple this week. I don't have anything extravagant, but something really simple. And I'm the type of person that I love giving gifts. And I love giving gifts that I have personally made myself, as you probably have found in some of my videos. I decided to show you um, a little gift that I prepared for a special person. I'm showing you how to take everyday, ordinary things and turn them into something useful. So, notice the bag that the gift is in. Simple sheet protectors. So, I'm going to show you how to simply use these as a gift bag. I decided to give you a close-up of the items that I'm giving my friend. As I mentioned, we have a bottle of my special potion of my favorite cologne. And I'm giving her, these are the bath salts that I make. And they're scented to match my fragrance. And I just put it in a cute little bag. I'm also giving her a pendant that I made out of seashells that I picked up from a, a beach. And I polished them and sealed them. And then I made the wire going around the, um, the seashell. So that way she can just slide this on one of her favorite necklaces. And last but not least, I made this beautiful crocheted um, necklace where I crocheted um, the yarn. It's actually more of a thicker thread rather than a yarn. And I crocheted and it's very long. It's a, it's a long length because I have lots of it stuck behind there. And then I just did a simple pair of earrings to match. And I think my friend would really enjoy this because she's a very special person. And I wanted to give her something special for me. So now on to making our, our gift bag. This is our sheet protector. And you notice on your sheet protector, you've got the opening here. And you've got the, uh, the um, edges that you know hook into your binder. So what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to take your scissors. And you're going to cut the white off. But you don't want to leave any white. So you're going to cut close. But you don't want to cut so close that you cut open the bag. So I'm cutting just on the little perforation there. I'm going to cut this all the way down. Very, very simple. See, just continue to cut that all the way down. And if you get a little bit of the white, it's okay. You can always go back and trim that off. Okay. Now we've removed our little white strip that we don't want. We're just going to discard that. And now you've got the bag cut out. You see, it's completely clear. And you open it up. And you see, if you did it right, you didn't cut the hole. See how the edges is still intact? Because if you get it too close, you'll cut a hole into it, and then you won't have a bag. You'll have, it'll be an opening there. And you're just going to simply insert your items. As you notice, the bag is nice and long. Let me zoom out so you can see this. So you see the bag is, is pretty long, but what we're going to do, you're going to open up the bag and I insert my center item first. And you see that when you insert it, it starts to indent. Really cute. And next I'm going to add my necklace set. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up. I love these cute little boxes too that I've got. And I'm just going to put one on one side. And I'm going to take the pendant, close the pendant up, and I'm going to set the other one on the other side. Just set it down in there. And as you can see, the bag is beginning to shrink down in size because it's spreading out this way. And I'm going to take my special potion of my cologne, and I'm going to set it right in the middle. And I decided I have these cool rulers that I gave all my customers that says, our customers rule. So I'm going to throw that in there for her. She she probably would like that. She's a, a, a seamstress at some sort. So now I'm going to get some simple ribbon, this curling ribbon. And I'm going to um, take off a long piece because I really want a lot of curly curly. So I'm going to take off a long piece. And this is the part that gets kind of tricky because you need three hands. 
But anyway, and I'm just going to fold that in half. And I'm going to wrap it around. I'm going to try to scrunch this as best I can. This is going to be tricky. Sometimes you can twist it to hold it in place. And I'm going to take my ribbon, which I've kind of somewhat folded in half. And I'm just going to wrap it around. And I'm going to wrap it around twice so it kind of holds in place. And then I'm going to tie it. Just like that. Simple as that. Now we got all these curly cues here. So I'm going to take my curly cues and I'm going to wrap them around again in half and fold them. Or, or tie a knot in them rather, not fold them. I'm just going to clip the ends, the folds that are that are together, connected. And now I'm simply going to do a light curl by with the, you know, holding the scissors open like this and just grabbing the ribbon. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that from back from when we were in grade school. And just pull it and see how we get a cute little curly cute. There's our cute gift made with our simple sheet protector and our little curly ribbon. And I know my, my gift reci recipient is going to be so happy that she received this. I hope you try this. Happy crafting!